Right, hey guys, it's Weston here. So today I'm going to be pitting the Intel i5-6600K against the AMD FX8320. And what I'm going to be doing is testing these in benchmarking suites. So I'm going to be looking at Unigen, Cinebench and Firestrike. And we're going to see which one performs the best. Now before I do that, I'd just like to quickly thank XFX for supplying me with the R9390X graphics card and the 850 watt power supply. Without them this series would not be possible, so thank you to them and all their links will be down in the description. So now let's uh, take a look at the comparison and first off we're going to start with Unigen. Now I know Unigen isn't exactly designed for this type of scenario, but if one CPU is better than the other, shouldn't that mean that one will score higher than the other? At the end you get some results, you get a score and you get an FPS. And if one is higher than the other, shouldn't that technically mean that one CPU actually does perform better and brings more out in the graphics card? So what we should see in the end is one CPU should be higher than the other and get a better score and also a better overall FPS. So the benchmark is actually coming to a close now, so we'll see at the end which actually gets the best score. So you can see the scores are coming up now and both scored really well. But you can see, even though the AMD did finish first, the Intel did get the highest score. So, from my understanding, I believe that the Intel is actually better in this regard. Even though the AMD did well, I think the Intel actually outperforms it in this one. Now, I know it's not technically designed for that, but it got a better result. So, technically that means, in this respect, it performs better. So here is a Cinebench CPU test and what this does is it tasks the CPU to render a photorealistic 3D image. Now whichever gets the highest score at the end of this test will be the fastest at doing these types of workloads. And you can see above the videos is a real time indicator of how long this task is actually taking. And you can see the AMD is actually flying through this and it's almost completed the finished render. The Intel on the other hand is doing it much more slowly. So you can see the AMD has finished 1 minute 13 with a score of 549. The Intel is just finishing now and scores 432 at 1 minute 32. So you can see the AMD has won pretty much outright in this regard. So next up is Cinebench's GPU test and what this does is it tasks the GPU to process this 3D car chase scene and essentially whichever scores the highest amount of frames per second is the best at these types of scenarios. So this means that you should get better performance in game. So both are getting to the end now and the results are in. So you can see although the AMD finished a little bit quicker it actually scored only 79 fps whereas the intel scored 103 so that means that for these types of scenarios so for gaming essentially then the intel will give you much better performance in that regard so lastly we get on to fire strike now fire strike is a very intense test for both your cpu and gpu and if you're looking to build a gaming rig then this is one you should definitely take a look at now this will just tell you how the CPU and the GPU perform together and it'll just give you an idea of which will perform better. Now bear in mind this is only at 1080p, you can run it at high resolutions if you've got a high res monitor. But anyway that's what I'm running this at and you can also see the real time indicator just to show you how long this benchmark actually takes. So the benchmark is actually coming to the end now and we're getting the score. So Intel finished first. Not that much quicker actually, but it gets 10,248 to AMD's 8,424. Both very, very respectable scores. And yeah, I'm actually really impressed with how good the AMD scored, as well as the Intel. So if you're looking to build a gaming rig, whichever way you decide to go, you're going to get a really good performing system. Right guys, so now you've seen the comparison I'm actually pretty surprised with how good the AMD did. Now the AMD did actually win in the Cinebench CPU test and it actually finished quicker and got a higher score, something I wasn't actually really expecting but you can see proofs there that AMD did finish first and it was better. It also did finish first in Unigen as well, it actually finished a couple of seconds before 
the Intel and it also finished quicker in the GPU test on Cinebench as well. Now again I'm really surprised at that but although the AMD did finish first the Intel actually scored a little bit better so on average the Intel outperformed the AMD. Now I'm not saying that the AMD is bad I'm actually really surprised at how good even to this day the AMD still is. Now Intel's architecture is like really new whereas the FX architecture is really quite old now and it's uh, quite a few generations back but it's still performing really really well to this day and even against Intel's sort of best consumer grade chip I'm really really staggered at how good the AMD is still performing. So if you want a lower cost solution then AMD is definitely worth getting and still offers you some fantastic performance for a lot less money than what you get from Intel. Now the Intel did obviously win in this situation but that's not surprising I mean in these types of situation Intel usually, usually is a little bit better than AMD but like I said AMD still surprised me and you're still getting a really solid performance from the AMD system. So yeah, if you want to save some money, then AMD is still going to give you a solid performing system. If you want that little bit extra performance, and you're not bothered about spending a couple of hundred pound more, then the Intel does offer you that slight performance boost. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you've got any comments regarding this video, the comment section is the place to be. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of this series and all my other videos that I bring out on a weekly basis. Thank you again to XFX for supplying me with a graphics card and the power supply. And a massive thank you to you guys for commenting and sharing and all that good stuff that you do on my videos. So thank you all and I will see you all on the very next video.